Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with Terry. Today, uh, we are... let's have a very quick look at what we achieved last time. We defeated the Danish. To be fair, it wasn't much of a fight. Uh, they didn't stand a chance against us, really. But, um, yeah, we've been fighting the Danish. And uh, we, uh, we left Copenhagen alone because... The world tension is already at 24% because I messed up. <laughs> so I didn't have the political power ready to do the uh, the war justifications at the time when uh, when I turned communist. So we can't kill. Uh, I'm assuming. I'm, I'm guessing here that uh, we we we're currently not the worst offender. Uh, the worst offender right now is Japan. But if we are if we're going to conquer Denmark, I think we are going to be the top offender and then these guys might get interesting. So we're pretending that we're completely incompetent, um, all the while shipping our divisions back uh, as, as quickly as we possibly can. And uh, and um, getting them onto the Norwegian border. The other problem that we obviously have is manpower, because as you see, we don't have any. So I am actually thinking of decommissioning some of the ships here. Uh, we do have, uh, what do we have still? We do still have, uh, I think, the Aran class of, of ships. We don't need that many coastal guard ships because we're not going to be, they're not going to be winning anyway. Um, so maybe, where's my naval view? Maybe I'll just decommission these just to get some manpower back again. Um, this guy. Uh, yeah, this is this is like an, this is an old heavy cruiser, but it's got 1,800 uh, service manpower. So, uh, which ones are old here? Uh, let's have a look, very quick look at our naval production. Uh, where do I see this? I don't even think I can see this here. Where do we see this? Good question. Let's find out. Uh, maybe here we can see somehow if they're old or not. Uh, let's compare them. So, uh, obviously, uh, the Gustav, we can't decommission that because that's the pride of the fleet. That's the Sverige class. Oh, here we see it. So, that's the Sverige class. Sverige. Uh, Sverige class. But these are Aran class. And I think these are older and they're, they're, more, they're less good. Let's have a quick look comparison-wise. Yeah, they're garbage, aren't they? So, we've got the Aran, the... Uh, Tapperheten and the uh, Drigestheten. So I think I'm just going to decommission these three old heavy cruisers just to get some manpower back because I am needing all the manpower I can possibly get. So I'm going to get these three and uh, no, not the old task force. We're going to put them into a new task force, which is going to be the scrapped cuts task force. We're going to do these and then we're going to scrap these ship, these ships. Yeah which gives us a little bit of manpower back the navy gun down to 17 uh, 17000 because we have too many we are also needing to garrison Denmark because the other problem that we're having is that the Danish um, are not compliant these buggers are resisting which is why I have my spy here on a suppressed resistance mission and I've got my other spy already up here um, uh, Mr. Andersen <laughs> Uh, uh, building up the intelligence network in Norway, such that we get some um, some bonuses. Our stability isn't great because we're at war, uh, and that obviously affects everything. But we can't kill the Danish because otherwise, I think they are going to guarantee the Norwegians, which is a problem. So, I do need to get all my divisions uh, as rapidly as po humanly possible um, back into. Um, uh, back here, and I think we've got one already back here. Uh, is are you assigned? Okay, so we are going to start already um, assigning assigning and uh, uh, assigning you. Okay, other way around. I'm going to take these four divisions here. One, two, three, four. So these four divisions are going to go into a new army. Uh, you are going to get a new general. Uh, give me a new commander. And he is cautious. Uh, okay. He's a coward. See what you're trying to say. Oh, well, we'll take him. Uh, you get assigned here such that you take the other divisions. And uh, maybe maybe that's the way I can do this. Let's see. Uh, I want these eight divisions on a front line along this area here. Uh, that, like that-ish. 
Um, are these going to move? Because they, they, they can't move through Copenhagen, and I don't seem to be able to ship them off otherwise. So um, we're just going to have to reverse naval and wait ourselves. Uh, okay, A naval convoy raider battle. Where is it again? Uh, this is my convert, convoy escort. Oh, here. Um, we had... Uh, okay, the naval bombers are still trying to sink the submarines, but they are damaging them. So at some point we are going to get them, I think. Uh, how's our... Uh, yeah, our... Unfortunately, our casualties are ramping up a little bit because of the continuous battle with the Danish and because they actually have one, two, three, four, five, six divisions in here, which is a little bit unfortunate. I would have really preferred if this wasn't the case, but um, they are entrenched and uh, we're just going to have to deal with them for now until we declare war. On, uh, once we declare war on Norway, we can close this and get the divisions back uh, back on track. But for now, we just need to get our army back into Norway somehow, uh, into Sweden somehow. And uh, I am actually going to speed this up a little bit now. And uh, we, didn't, we desperately need to get off the volunteer conscription because we need more troops is what we need. Because we are getting ready to war with Norway. And we are 24% world tension, so it's getting close. And I don't have my troops in place. Uh, yeah, we question the motives of Norway. These Norwegians, they are so sneaky, don't you think? Um, come on, get my troops back in place. I need my troops on the border. Come on, go for it. Uh, yeah, these are armament efforts done. These are holding. Why are you here? You're already supposed to be on the um, one, one division on the border. <laughs> Can I just assign these or are they going to... I don't know if I just assign them. Are they going to start walking again? And then I have to replan all my, my, my reverse naval invasions. I don't know. Uh, low manpower, I know. Okay, we got free mills. Uh, I'm good on equipment. So what I'm going to start doing is building aircraft. I can't use them because I don't have any manpower. But I am going to start building um, close air support. I don't have any rubber, which is okay. I'm going to get rubber later. For now, I don't, I don't need that. Uh, so that's fine. And then we are going to go for more construction. We need more factories urgently. And I am going to need my troops back pronto, if that's if possible. This might be very stupid what I'm doing here, by the way. So if that is the case, please do tell me. Uh, okay, we've got insufficient naval supremacy because we are having we are not setting our this guys on naval invasion support here. Uh, yes, I don't want you to repair. I want naval invasion support to so get my troops back. Okay, my troops are getting back. Okay, my troops are back. All right, everybody is where they're supposed to be. Yes, so I can get you back to hold. Um, yeah, you can sit there, don't mind. And the other guys are doing, uh, are, are chasing the Danish submarines around the countryside. Uh, we still got the six Danish divisions in there, but I need these guys uh, on the front lines. And... How long do we have? How long do we have until Norway? I need more troops. Uh, this is getting close. I am going to cancel my construction effort. Uh, cancel that. Yeah. I need more political power to raise the conscription laws because I need more troops. Because right now we don't stand a chance against Norway, I think. Um, this person industry three is finished. Good. And we are going to need. Uh, we're doing this already. Construction is still ahead. Uh, we have the doctrine speed, so that's next. Um, doctrine go. Uh, no national focus, yes, because I need to get up to 150 to get the conscription up. I need to rush some divisions into place. Actually, I think I might have to place these uh, these eight divisions here. Uh, I need many more than that, and I don't have much time. I'm going to have to place these actually up north, unfortunately. Because otherwise I'm not going to get them there in time. Um, we're going to make a d new front line. Delete this front line. Uh, we're going to make a new front line here. No. No. I want a... No. All the divisions. All you eight divisions. Uh, yeah. I've got them all here. So they're in the right place. So do what you need to do. Stop that. Um, I'm going to get all of you 
onto a new front line up north here. That kind of has to do. Uh, do we have... And yeah, I want all these divisions up here, unfortunately, and then we're going to get you redeployed there quickly. And we're going to need more divisions, so we're going to need more political power. Otherwise, this war against Norway is going to be a very, very short one. Uh, yes, yes, I know. Uh, give me political power. Okay, fuel storage is done. We're going to need to go down the research route here and synthetic oil. And I might have to pull uh, pull the pull one division off here. I don't. Th I'm th but I think I need two. Otherwise, they're breaking through. And this is draining a lot of manpower down there. Okay, 150 achieved. So back to construction efforts, and we are going to change to. Why can I not change to limited conscription? Does not have. What? Why can I not change to? limited conscription. I have, oh, 100, where did my political power go? I just had 150, didn't I? I'm, I'm confused, but I think my political power just went away. Okay, 150. Okay, limited conscription, yes. I need divisions. Um, I actually need, uh, I'm just going to leave these on, I'm going to give these uh, support RT and I'm going to give these uh, engineer companies and I'm going to give these one more mountaineer, two more mountaineers. Okay, done. How many are you going to get of these? Train. Oh, no, not like this. Uh, train. More, 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 more. Okay, that's as much as we can. We're going to need all of you uh, here. Um, train divisions over there and we're going to need uh, definitely more of these so we're going to get like three divisions uh, three more divisions of these and they're going to need to go here as well uh, this we might have to hold against Norway for a little bit first <laughs> if this doesn't work out we had 25% are they going to start guaranteeing Norway that's the big question we still got 50 days and I don't have any divisions <laughs> Uh, this might go poorly. Um, let's see. Where's my Air Force right now? No, I need you people. Uh, the torpedo bombers can play with the, the, the Danes, but I need you people over there. Um, okay, Germany just did the Austrian Anschluss. So they just took over Austria, which means they're now at 35%. I definitely can't kill the Danish. Uh, I need you to operate here. Um, and I need uh, I need more troops. Uh, can I deploy you? Not yet. I need more. I need more of everything. Um, I'm going to cancel the um, the close air support for now, and I'm just going to throw that into more guns because we need more guns. Uh, we need more divisions very quickly. Otherwise, this is not going to go well. Okay, um, mutinies in the army. Oh come on! I don't have time for this. Uh, please hold a patriotic speech before the mutineers. Uh, that'll cost a lot of political power, which I don't have, but I can go into credit here. Okay, that research is done. Um, we are going for better artillery. And I don't have my army in place. <laughs> and these guys are not holding too well, actually. Um, they might get pushed back here. This is a little awkward. We are losing a lot of troops here. And this is more than I actually wanted. I'm going to get have to get the... Uh, uh, yeah, these guys are actually losing down here. Um, this is not working as well as I thought it was going to go. Uh, let's get a support attack down here. Uh, this isn't going to work, but... Uh, this is all going poorly. <laughs> I think we cannot attack Norway. I think we are not in a position to attack Norway. Okay. Uh, no, attaché stays. Stop complaining. Uh, these guys have been pushed back. Uh, we might. I might actually return. Um, I might actually. Uh, am I going to hold this here? Okay. I'm going to leave these two here and to hold. But uh, I'm not sure these two can hold here. Um, I might have to, 
I might have to get them to fall back uh, to Odense uh, because the the Danish are still too much problems for me. Now, now they are going to attack there again. Uh, yeah, and I just don't have the divisions at this point, and I can't rush them out quickly enough. I've done with the computing machine. Uh, we are going to. Um, we are going to go. What are we going to go next? Uh, I think I'm good with my industry at this stage. I could go somewhere here. Um, uh, that's that's in the works. I don't need any of that. Um, we are going to need tanks down the road once if we want to do this properly. This is all too early. Uh, yeah, we might actually start. Uh, how, how's power planes looking? This is all 1940s research. Uh, we are researching that, so let's research light tanks. We're going to go eventually with tanks, but for now, um, we have problems down here. Because the Danish are actually uh, coming across here, and uh, we are not holding them as well as we wanted to. I thought I could hold them in there, but uh, it looks like... Um, it looks like I am going to be in trouble with Norway much more than I thought I was going to be. I've got 40 days and uh, while we do have finally uh, limited, we are too limited, we can't go too extensive because we don't have the war support. We s we're still at war so everything is bad and we're not getting enough troops out here so I don't think I can actually declare on Norway just yet. Uh, we just don't have enough manpower. Uh, that is all there that is all she said and these guys are getting pushed back uh, quite heavily uh, let's see if they can hold um, these guys seem to be holding so uh, and we have resistance problems in the occupied occupied territories as well this is going all manner of wrong isn't it uh, yeah, what's my resistance looking here uh, 27 percent Okay, I think we're going to have to uh, abort the Norwegian campaign. I don't have the troops for it. Um, I will let the I will I will let the um, I will let the um, justification finish. But we might have to kill Denmark first and then capitulate Denmark and then get ready for the Norwegian. I thought I could do both at the same time, but I, I think it was too much at the, at one time. So we may have to, um, yeah, I think I'm going to pull my troops down. I'm going to, uh, I, don't ha I don't stand a chance to take on Norway in the mountains and Denmark down here at the same time. I think I'm going to have to t pull my troops down um, and, uh, and get, them, get them ready to take on Copenhagen, uh, which is not, uh, not ideal because we might have to do a second naval invasion to come from the rear and, and kill them in Copenhagen because right now these guys are just holding. So... Yeah, this hasn't worked as I wanted to, <laughs> but um, actually, do I need to do a naval invasion or can I just send them over there? So I want them, I want all these, these troops here. Uh, we're going to, we're going to get them all over there. No, can I, can I get everybody sent over there? No, they're going through Copenhagen. Uh, go to Göteborg. Yeah, we're aborting the Norwegian campaign. Uh, Denmark is turning out to be too much trouble. And um, we just cannot uh, we just cannot afford to let this going on for too much longer. Um, oh, we have a good speech. We get uh, we get more uh, we got more stability um, and the construction effort is done. <sighs> more uh, more factories. Uh, we need to get to 50 factories to get the next research slot. Uh, I really wanted to co to conquer Norway, but it looks like we're going to have to deal with Denmark first. And which means that given that we're already at 34%, uh, I think they will be starting to guarantee Norway at some point. Um, they are... We've got 40 days. Can we sneak this? Can we capitulate them? No, even if we take even if we take Narvik, uh, so there's the Narvik naval base and the airport. Uh, we've got the naval base, and we have. I'm pretty sure we can take Oslo, 
uh, and probably Christiansand, Stavanger, and Bergen. Uh, the thing is, I don't have enough troops to grab everything up here, because this is all mountains. And then uh, the Norwegians can and will probably just run through my my country here, and that's not something I can I can tolerate. So. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to capitulate Denmark first, at which point I think they're going to guarantee Norway. So, but let's see. We, we kill Denmark. Um, let's get everybody. Let's get everybody. Everybody uh, redeployed to... Uh, everybody redeployed to Göteborg. Uh, yeah. Get everybody redeployed to Göteborg. And then we are going to... How many troops do we need? We might need, uh, let's see, we might need just our assault troops. So we're going to get this, this, and this. Um, naval invaded over there to reinforce that. Uh, they're not breaking through, but neither are we. So we're going to get these guys, naval invasion over there, uh, which means we're going to have to get our fleet back onto naval invasion support. Uh, yep, okay, done. Uh, yeah, How, handling keeping keeping Denmark uh, keeping Denmark in uh, keeping the war in Denmark going and attacking Norway at the same time I think was too much. So uh, we can get these guys actually who are not getting uh, the remaining five. These guys can set up a front line. Um, yeah, just we are going to get Norway eventually. <laughs> But uh, we might have to do this a little differently. Uh, you just, you just have a, no, no. All right, uh, we will leave you here. We might need you to push into Copenhagen. We're gonna get uh, U five. Uh, where are you actually? Oh, you, you're re no, no, no. Wait, wait. Command, command back. Sorry, um, I didn't actually want to make the front line there. Uh, we get you. We get you people, uh, you people, we get you ferried to here. Yeah, please, no, go here, go there. Why are you going over there? Can I, no, I don't want you to go up there, go there. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to get you back down here. This is scrappy. And then we get the other ones. Uh, what's our naval invasion looking like? 21 days. We get the other ones ready, and then we'll naval invade Denmark again. <laughs> okay, uh, Spain is done. We're at 40%. Uh, victory in civil wars. Uh, we're almost done with our... We're almost done. Let's see. Maybe if we take out Denmark, if we declare Norway and then take out Denmark quickly? But they are all going to rush in, and they're going to take half my country if this goes wrong. Um, we'll see. How's my how's my troops going? Um, okay, deploy all these. Deploy all these. How many do we have? Uh, not many. Okay, we'll see how much time we have. Maybe we can pull this off. Um, we need to. We just need to be done with the justification uh, on Norway. And then we'd, we'd crush the, Dan the Danes and then get everybody rushed back and see if we can take on Norway. We've still got 45 days. Um, all right. Where are my troops at? Uh, naval invasion. Okay, naval invasion has succeeded. All right, let's pull the, the, the speed down again. Uh, we, are we are now going to get all these guys. Um, actually, my, sh my three shock troops need to sit there first for a second uh, and, and regain their regain their organization. So you hold for a while and you uh, just move there into that tile and you hold there. Okay. Uh, yes, we have unassigned divisions, I know. I we probably lost a plane or two and we have resistance problems as well. We'll deal with all that in a minute. Um, uh, these are all under... Uh, okay. These these guys need to recover a little bit of organization, but in the meantime, I can get um, no. I can okay. All these divisions need to be under him first. Uh, yes, reassign. We we'll get the other general. He wasn't that good anyway. He was a coward. Okay, um, I am going to need you. These guys have low organization because they just came out of the naval invasion. 
So, um, but the three of you should be enough to push them here. So you push them there. And uh, you three are push that little guy up there. And then go back. Uh, no, then, and then go back. Nope. K attack here and then go over there. All right, that's how we do it. All right, so they push him out. That should not be an issue. And then they can go back there. And then we we'll take on the Danish from the rear. Why is, where is he going? He's going to Malmö. Okay. Uh, why are you going to... No, 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 no. Where are you? Okay, he wants to be shipped over there for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, delete that. Order. Delete all these front lines. I don't need any of that. Um, we need to get this over quickly. So all you go and try to invade Copenhagen if you can. And you, I don't know why you're here. Go back there. Uh, how does it look like with my divisions here? We've got three divisions here. These three divisions should be able... So these already go into a new group. And um, we, are, uh, we are going to assign Anton Wedel because he's got, he's gotten some experience here. So we can actually upgrade people, by, upgrade our generals by now, because we've got some experience out of that fight with the Danish. At least it's something we have. I know this is very, very scrappy. <laughs> You're probably all shouting at me, but <laughs> uh, this is me. This is just me. Um, what can we get? Uh, we can get camouflage expert against air superiority, paratroopers or skirmisher. I want a field marshal trade from him. So uh, better reinforcement and better division recovery. This is all good. We'll start with uh, reinforcement. We start with reinforcement, I think. All right. And um, he hasn't really done anything, but you've been holding. So you're now an infantry leader, which gives us division defense. And um, we can turn you into uh, an infantry expert, which gives better infantry attack as well. So we'll do that. Uh, stop. Hold, hold, hold. I'm busy reorganizing my stuff. No, Japan. I don't have time for this. Go away. I will keep my attaché because it gives me experience, which I need. All right. Um, these three divisions, and actually this division needs to be um, this division needs to be here as well. Can we rush any more divisions out at this point? Um, yes, deploy all of them that you can. So all these divisions are going to go here, and you guys are going to hold uh, the line up yonder. No, not there. I want you to hold the front line that I would like to draw, but I cannot. Yes, no. No, no, not. Why is this difficult? I want a front line from here. There we go. From here to all the way down here. I know you don't have enough divisions for that. But um, this army is going to be assigned to that front line. So you move over there. And then whatever. Uh, then once we've dealt with the Danish, um, actually, we might need to declare on, have to declare on the Norwegians first. OK, abort that attack. Um, get everybody here. <sighs> oh, there's still two divisions down there. Um, can you can you guys can you guys okay you guys you you two stay there you three go down there and kill those guys as they have nowhere to go you go there we need to declare on the Norwegians war on the Norwegians if we can hold this long enough that the rest of my army can pull in that is kind of what I'm thinking here um, uh, yes deploy instantly okay you and that we've got six divisions up here they might not be holding they, they might not be able to hold this but we will we'll see maybe we can we can make it happen okay uh, just kill these guys down there and then yeah they're encircled they're not gonna get anything we get sabotage all the time because of the resistance problems that we're having in Denmark and that also binds more more and more troops unfortunately because they're getting inefficient because they they're already at 40 percent resistance i am having my my spy here on resistance suppression but it's just not enough to get them to stop resisting uh, i need him in norway still because we may still pull the norway off but um 
um, too too many troops are currently tied in um, are currently tied in in Denmark with uh, garrisoning and everything. So I'm not sure I can pull that out of my out of my behind. Uh, deploy this line instantly, and this is all the sh all she wrote. So we've got seven divisions up here. Um, we are going to we are going to plan. Uh, right now, these guys aren't going to do anything. But the rest of the army, if they can hold here, if they can hold here, the rest of the army can swoop in. We might actually. There's not much here. What if? Okay. What if we're making a defensive line? We give no, we we abandon nor, uh, North and Sweden because North and Sweden. I, I cannot hold this all, but we can probably hold here. And then uh, we hold and we hold here until the uh, until the rest of the army comes in. Okay, let's tr we'll, we'll try this. I have never done this before. I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, we are going to draw a fallback line uh, from along this river, and then down here. That's a purely defensive line. No, not in there. No, 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 back. And down here, that is going to be a fallback line. I want this army completely assigned to uh, this fallback line. We're abandoning the front line. There, you hold them here. Just hold them, and we will uh, we will try we will try to get to declare on Norway kill Denmark, capitulate Denmark, and then rush everybody back and try to, to get them. Yeah, that's how, that's how we're going to do it. I don't know, this might go, this might go horribly wrong. <laughs> um, can I improve some of my divisions by at this point? How much, how much stuff do I have? Um, I've got a lot of artillery, but I'm really short on the other stuff. So I still need actually more on, I still need more, uh, uh, more infantry equipment. Uh, we're actually under equipped here. We'll see how long we can uh, once we have the justification, how long we can actually hold in July 38. The, it said 40%, but no one's declaring because I haven't capitulated anybody. So um, we have to wait until we can declare. Actually, we're not going to need six divisions down here. Uh, we're just going to need two. So out of these, uh, we're going to... No, out of these six, we're going to take... We're going to leave you two here and everybody else and gets onto the front line, the, Viz the Zonovigians. And then you are going to try and take Oslo. Um, uh, you are going to defensive line. You're going to try and take off Oslo with four divisions. So get over there. The rest of the gang is going to capitulate. We declare on Norway. Then the rest of the gang is going to capi capitulate uh, Denmark. And um, and we are uh, because I should have enough power here, and then rush to the front to push into Norway, and we we'll try to hold up here. So can we get all these guys in place, please? In the meantime, because you're going to have to hold the line over here, and you're all under equipped. I know, but we're trading some country up here for a uh, for a quick rush into Norway. We are at thirty nine percent wall tension, but so far the British haven't haven't uh, haven't guaranteed Norway because we haven't capitulated anybody. I think they still think we're incompetent and I think they might actually not be wrong. <laughs> all right, uh, let me get you all falling back here among that river line and uh, holding that, trying to hold this corner here, these mountains. Uh, I'm gonna need you over there actually. Because if that corner falls, the whole line collapses. But uh, obviously, we still need more troops up here. Okay, improved artillery has been done. Uh, that's still time ahead. Um, I am researching light tanks. I want to get to medium tanks, and that's. But I, I don't have the the manpower or the capability for it anyway. Uh, we might actually. Uh, we we do have the. We do have the fighters researched. I'm not going to go into these quite yet uh, because I just don't have anything. Do we need an air doctrine already? Um, 
uh, battlefield support kind of sounds like what I want because I'm really not um, uh, I'm really not yeah the air support mission efficiency would have been nice but I'm really I, re I don't even have enough fighters there's no point doing that yet um, I'm gonna do the support weapons I thought I did that actually I might have forgotten okay um, yeah this is all sketchy as heck but we are gonna get more divisions up there uh, actually we might get these three still yeah we're gonna get assign these three still to the fallback line and um, and get these guys to push into into Oslo once they are finished over here hopefully the Germans don't kick up any nonsense um, oh we also completely out of fuel uh, yes we're calling aid to Norwegian workers okay uh, we're going to Navy we're going to stop all those missions here so all the Navy no Navy I said where's my Navy here so you two um, you two are going on hold no mission uh, just hold and go there uh, yeah because I'm out of fuel anyway and the Danish are gonna be gone in a minute and I am pulling everything I can no, these two oh, should be on the fallback line. Why are they down here? Oh, because there is actually something down here. Yeah, that might not be a terrible idea. Uh, these are... Uh, you three guys can go over, over there, honestly, uh, and sit on that part, because they're not going to come around that quickly. We might actually uh, change our fallback line a little bit. Um, we're going to reduce it over here. Uh, that and we'll just trade some some time for this so we get them over there uh, it gives us a bit more manpower here and then we can move if we need to to hold this river we we'll just let them come in on the north we will kick we'll kill them eventually and we'll try to capitulate these guys as quick as possible oh this is sketchy sketchy as heck we've still got uh, a couple more days uh, we are holding against the Danes and that is all good and dandy uh, but we need to we need to declare war on Norway before we can ca capitulate Denmark. So let's increase the time, the speed. Uh, armament effort is done. Yes, I need more guns, um, many more guns, and we can't do this yet because we only have 41 factories. So uh, we are going to work a little bit on our stability now. Now that we've done all the other things that we could do. And we're working on the collectivist ethos and uh, trying to get our stability up because our stability isn't great, and uh, this increases resistance and you know all these nasty things. So how's my resistance, by the way? It's probably dreadful. Um, oh, we're holding um, eighty-one percent efficiency, not eighty-nine percent efficiency, not bad. And it's forty-one currently, um, and the compliance is at eleven. Once it reaches fifteen, uh, sorry, no, once it reaches 25, then the garrisons need will go down. I need these garrisons out there because I am currently out of manpower because I've got 4,800 people in garrisons, which is dreadful. All right, you people hold right here. You do bombing, naval bombing if you need to, but right now you just sit there and do nothing because I need... Who's consuming my... Um, why is my Air Force doing stuff? Uh, oh, that's the torpedo bombers. Um, stop doing stuff. You, um, you do nothing. Uh, I don't have, I don't have fuel for you anyway, and you just, you just sit there. I don't care. Uh, I don't need naval bombing against Norway, I think. And these guys don't have anything to do yet. Um, why are we still burning fuel from the Air Force? Uh, who's, who's doing something here? None of you should be doing anything. Um, you should just be sitting sitting there. Uh, what's your mission? You have no mission. Um, you have no mission at all, so you shouldn't be doing anything. You two, stop doing what you're doing. There's nothing to do. We're not at war. Give me my fuel back. Uh, where's my fuel? Yes, okay, that's better. I don't know what they were doing there in Norway, but um, maybe they were trying to support the, in the Danish Straits because we're still actually technically in war. Okay. Justification is finished. How much t um, how much time do we have? Uh, we've got a war goal against Norway. I don't know how long this is going to stay. 
uh, expires on September September 5. So we can, and we've got some manpower now. Why do we have manpower? So, okay, we can train a couple more divisions. We can not train any more mountain divisions, but um, we can train an assault division and get them over here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Just get me one more, if you can. And then we'll wait as long as we wait a little bit more. Uh, although they might start guaranteeing. Um, okay. <sighs> we'll try it. We'll try it. Uh, we have we have one division on this order right now. He can take Oslo. That's about all he can get done. Everybody else will have to hold against Norway until the rest of the gun comes up. So we are going to declare war on Norway. Uh, declare war. Send. Okay, we declared war in Norway. It's done. Um, Air Force. Air Force needs to, these guys need to air superiority and close air support. I don't think they have any bombers, but we'll do it anyway. Interception, uh, whatever planes we have here, we'll do that. Um, and then now that we've declared war, uh, you go there. Uh, why can you not go there? Oh, yeah, go to Oslo. Everybody else holds. And here, you take the Danish. We need to take Copenhagen and we need to take it quick. And I'm going way too fast, so we're going two speed. Okay. Um, uh, what are we going to research next? Uh, I don't have enough uh, army XP to go for the next uh, for the next thing, so it's going to take way too long. Um, Anything we can research over here? Improved infantry equipment. Uh, it's not going to do great because we're not. We don't really need that, but we need it to get to the better guns. So we might as well just do it. All right. So uh, we need to kill. We need to kill the Danish as quickly as we can. These guys need to capitulate Denmark and then rush up here. And actually, this looks almost like they've got Trondheim. Uh, they've got Trondheim undefended. Uh, but I am concerned about these two divisions down here. Uh, you two are not particularly helpful. Let's see. Uh, we'll try to send this mountain division over to capture Trondheim. Uh, the rest of you just hold. Um, just hold against the Norwegians for now. We'll see what they're doing. Uh, where's, what, how's my spying right now? Okay, so he's at 96%. So he can do some... Um, he can do some... Uh, some propaganda here to uh, decrease their stability. Okay, so you do propaganda in Norway to decrease their stability and everybody else, uh, yeah, I know, I have, I have my torpedo bombers, they're not useful, so I just leave them at home because I don't have enough fuel anyway. Okay, we've got green air over Norway, at least for the attacking part. Uh, they can do naval support, but first my order of business is to get Denmark capitulated. And that shouldn't take long, and because I think they are encircled and... Uh, there's not very much they can do, uh, so I think these uh, these guys are just going to get these killed very, very quickly. I could have just left four here, honestly. I think six was overkill, um, but uh, it is what it is. So we are taking Oslo. Okay, we've taken Oslo, so uh, just, just run around the coastline and take their victory points. Uh, obviously, these guys are pushing in. We can't be having with that. So I'm going to need you two to actually move here. Uh, although they are, tr they might not be pushing in. Yeah, these are pushing in here, which is understandable. But um, we're just going to try and hold them here as much as we can. And uh, everybody else, yeah, we need to get Denmark out of the way, and then we can deal with stuff. And then we can start pushing them back in the north. Okay. Uh, you help as well. I want we get these. We need to get these two killed, and Denmark capitulated before the Norwegians are going to cause them trouble. Yeah, these guys are running, running around here. Uh, no, I'm going to need you to actually no. Get, no, go through there. No, what are you doing? You go over there. 
I need to micromanage this. No, go through here and then go through there. Um, and I'm going to need someone else to rush down here. These should might these might be holding. Uh, we have taken Tron time, uh, and now we might be able to. Yeah, it's all a bit scrappy because I don't have enough units. But um, is there any is there anything else important that we could take away from the Norwegians? Um, they seem to have no nothing down here south. So. Um, uh, we are getting okay. We are getting into a battle here, so these two units are actually attacking. Um, yeah, you you might be able to. Oh no, we're, we're defending actually. Uh, okay, so just if if he's attacking, perfect. Um, yeah, let, let's let's do that, and you need to go there to defend against that unit. And these guys are going to come around here the long way eventually. Can I already deploy another unit? No, I can't because I don't have enough manpower. Okay. Once the Danish out of the way, we, get, we, we truck everybody up there and stabilize the front line. It's not going to take any much longer. They're taking uh, organization loss very quickly. So that's it. Uh, Copenhagen is down. That should be done. Should be Denmark done. Uh, we've got resistance. We've got free military factories because we now get the Danish ones. I think the Dens. Danes just capitulated. We are going to... Th okay, that was just one. Okay, we're going to throw that into infantry equipment because that's where we're really short and we're going to keep building uh, keep building uh, convoys. You guys are... I am going to manually uh, strategic re strategically redeploy you. Uh, actually, not all of you. Let's see. Uh, okay. This is going to be a bit manual. So you five, I am going to do uh, get a fallback line uh, here. All right, and we're going to get you strategically redeployed yonder. Okay, so you can no 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 not there, there. Uh, you three. Uh, I'll move you up here no, uh, by train. This costs a lot of organization, but um, it'll help uh, get them there faster, which is all I need really. Because I just need, I've cut them off here and I've taken them, I've taken out, um, I've cut them off here, I've taken out, uh, I've taken out uh, uh, Oslo. So we are going to try and just uh, just get these two units here, uh, get these two units here encircled, and then we'll push through and try to mop up the rest of them. Okay. Uh, yeah. So everybody's on the move. Uh, where's Den Where's my capitulation? Yes, Denmark capitulated. I got some of their guns. I got some of their fuel, which is great. So um, I'm going to take everything. And that's me. Give me all of Denmark. Yes, which has increased the wall tension. We've got the equipment. Denmark is dead, which includes the Faroe Islands and uh, Iceland, actually. So now it's all about dealing with Norway. Hopefully in a quick and efficient manner. Although, <laughs> as you can see, this is all but quick and efficient what I'm doing here. Uh, we are going to lose parts of North and Sweden, so we're going to have to push them back out of there. But uh, that was a calculated risk uh, because now we are not at war with the allies, which is really what I was trying to avoid. Um, we are. Are we are we pushing these guys out here? Uh, uh, no. Why are you? No. I want you to. No. I want you to go and attack these. Can we put? Uh, I want to push out that cavalry division here if I can. I know this is costly, but um, I want these guys out of there if I can and just push them back. So now I've got two divisions on that. And uh, they are doing absolutely nothing, are they? Yeah, these are just my. my these, are, these guys have no organization, so I'm just going to station them there for now and let them defend for a little bit. Um, and I'm going to actually assign these two to that line. Uh, we don't need that front line anymore at this point. We are manually organizing this down here. So the you two stand there. And 
the it's actually the Norwegians doing the attacking right now, which is perfect. Okay, you need to move up there. You're holding. You're getting reinforcements coming in because these guys are trucking it from down there. And that should give me enough troops to uh, to to deal with them. Okay, the Norwegians are attacking. That's perfect. I prefer them attacking. Okay, uh, let's see if we can just encircle this guy and then uh, take him out. Uh, you're holding there. You're, you need reinforcements because they are rushing through there, I know. But that's okay. We'll deal with that when we get there. Um, I'm just waiting for more troops to come up north here. All right. Uh, yes, we have garrison problems. We have no manpower. We're li and we've lo we're losing planes. This is all perfectly fine. <laughs> Um, in fact, uh, you're currently not under combat, so why don't you move over there and help out encircling that other unit up north. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're getting them encircled. Uh, he's moving, so you need to pin him. Okay, pinned. He is moving over there. Uh, he's moving busily around in the countryside, and we are trucking everybody to the fallback line. Okay, we've got the three assault divisions down here, so you help um, with... Okay, not, not, not quite like this. One of you assist this battle, two of you go in here and make sure we get this guy encircled. Okay, that's multiple combat. He's going down south, so yeah, they are getting encircled and there's nothing they can do about this. Okay, he is being pushed back. So these guys are dead, and he can go in there, and then, is that it actually? Yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody, just kill these people. And then we've got southern Norway sorted pretty much, and they can pull everybody up the front. Okay, U5, yeah, deploy along the fallback line. We should be able to hold on the river line here without too many problems. Ooh, that was all sketchy as heck, but we're getting there. Um, Okay, we've we've uh, we've all run these guys. They are dead. How's my air looking? We've got uh, red air over northern Sweden, so we can actually start redeploying because we are pretty much done here. We can get these guys. Uh, uh, actually, uh, no. Can I? I want to move you over there. Uh, get you to move over there, and then we'll take uh, we'll take the F. We'll take the air in northern Sweden. All right. Um, I am going to get all of you, uh, I'm going to get you to to start ra uh, to start uh, uh, cutting these guys off here. So you move up there and I get all of you uh, to move there and then uh, there. And we try to go through the mountains on along the coastline and encircle them as we go. These guys should hold the front line over here and might actually be able to push back against the uh, against the Norwegians, to be honest. Let's um, let's edit that line. Uh, edit mode, and we're going to shrink that down here. No, shrink it back here. And we're actually going to see if we can hold this. That might be not bad, not a terrible idea. And these guys are sitting on that line. I'm actually going to delete that already, because that's no longer a fallback line. All right, so if we can't have uh, we don't need really need you, so we can have all of you assigned to that, that seven divisions. Uh, strategic redeployment, please. Uh, assign. Yeah, go. And then we, the rest of you can start encircling these guys up here. All right. That's that, and the rest of them is following up, and then we'll just chop Norway up from the from the bottom. Okay, we've got three divisions here. That's perfect. This guy is moving. Uh, let him move. Um, he's moving. Can we actually push back against him? Uh, it's across a river. I don't want to push across the river. Let him move. Uh, let him move out first, and then um, we we'll get everybody else reassigned here. Okay, you've moved around. Move around there. The cavalry is not moving, and I've got all my troops moving up here pretty quickly. Okay, now he's moving, so we need to pin him. Okay, he's pinned, which means this guy can move over there. 
Uh, that guy's moving as well, so we'll cut him off here. And uh, the rest of you people, you actually go over there. Oh, he's lost. He's left the river. Perfect. Okay, chase him back, and take back our country, from the Norwegians. All right. How's the war looking? Uh, Norway is 71% towards capitulation. We have lost 60 men so far. <laughs> and they have lost 6,000 men. Okay, this guy is, this guy is encircled, so uh, he's dead. Um, we are going to get you. Uh, we're going to get you to move around and encircle this guy. And the rest of you is just trucking it. Uh, we are gonna have to take we're gonna take one more this is another three victory points uh, I think we might have to push through to Narvik because Narvik is the new capital um, so yeah we are pushing them out here so that's a thing and I don't actually need this fallback line anymore because I think they actually have we're, we're gonna have manage this by hand we're gonna get uh, you over there because I think we've got them on the run honestly at this point uh, you over here you two go through there and you go through there and then get catch that guy if you can uh, you are going yeah you're going there and you're going there perfect actually uh, let's encircle him if we can uh, is this a border yeah it's a border so let's get see if we can get him encircled and this guy we're just killing uh, because he is he is uh, encircled, so that's a big penalty. Uh, he's just pinning he's just pinning that unit. He doesn't need to anymore. Uh, can support the attack here, but uh, you are going to come up north and try to get him encircled as well. And uh, how is it looking on this front? Okay, we are in combat over here, so we're going to get some assistance here. We do have an ins do we have an encirclement almost uh, get more assistance down here. This isn't looking too great because they are dug in. But um, oh, we have actually sorry I've got research office. Uh, is, what am I going to do? Um, we are we are good on our engineering. We don't need these. Uh, we might need radio detection at some point, but not right now. I might, I'm thinking of rushing um, construction. Uh, yes, I'm gonna rush construction. How is my construction looking? Uh, yeah, I'm just repairing infrastructure at this point pretty much. But we are going to need more civilian factories. Uh, I, he I hear you complaining. <laughs> I am will build, gonna build more mills, don't worry, don't worry. But um, we are going to need more sieves for starters uh, we can't currently build there because stuff's going down but um, we're gonna build just one more set of sieves because I do need to I do need uh, the economy up here okay this guy is you don't actually need to be here help killing these guys okay the rest of them is moving and then from there on you move along the coastline and we'll just mop them up as we go you move around uh, you're pinning you just he's just trying to break the encirclement here but we've got we should have we should have gotten we should have this guy down in a in a jiffy because he's now out of supply and he's out of any everything so he shouldn't be living any longer uh, because it's mountains it's all pretty difficult but um, as you are you doing you go up there and you're you can cut this guy off already um, how you two are pushing these two back so that looks good. Um, actually, I don't need two of you there. I can get the other one to help uh, to help over here. All right, uh, we're pushing these guys back. Uh, these are he's. We're just pinning this guy so he doesn't get out. But we do want these. Uh, it's going to take them a while to to lose their organization because we are in the mountains. Actually, you stop attacking. You just defend yourself up there. Um, can I get one of the assault divisions maybe to help out here? Yeah, to mop this up. Because he is trying to break out and can't be having with that. Uh, how's my occupation looking? Uh, not good. <laughs> but uh, we've got Denmark down to 12% resistance. 
uh, the compliance is still very low. Why is it so low? Uh, I thought it was higher already. Um, How is it? What are my spies up to? So he's doing suppression and he's at home. Why is he at home? Uh, why are you in Stockholm? Didn't you have a resist? Didn't you have a network? Oh, because we captured that. Okay, you build up a network up there because we still got to capture Narwick. Okay, this uh, is starting to look mildly better. You stop attacking and just encircle this guy. Um, is he moving? Yes, he's moving, so pin him. And you assist down here. And everybody else is moving up. Uh, this guy needs, we need more help here, I think. Um, yes, maybe. Uh, let's see, we go there and then help out here. Okay, he can cut these guys off because once we've got them cut off from Narvik, they should be out of supply and then we can just uh, mop them up down here. Uh, this guy is encircled, perfect. So you try to make an encirclement here and that should be almost, there's some more Norwegians back there, but it's not that many of them. Um, they are at 72%. Yeah, Narvik is going to be the big one. So um, maybe once we've got this guy killed, we're actually going to move move on Narvik. Um, actually, you, after you're done there, why don't you just uh, move on Narvik? So that's not a terrible idea. Um, he is, okay, he is defending down there and that guy is still defending. So everybody, we're going to need to get this guy killed. You people help out here as well. And you all help out there. Uh, mountains aren't great, but uh, uh, we've got these nice little encirclements going, so they are not going to have a very good time. Um, seem to be struggling with this guy, but we're just pinning him at this point. This is just a mountain division, so they're not necessarily very much set up to fight. He's not going to get him killed. He just needs to have him pinned such that we can get him encircled and he has nowhere to escape. So you two kill that one. Um, we are uh, we are winning this. So um, we are just going to keep pushing on after that. And we're winning on all fronts, really. I think we're pulling this off, folks. <laughs> we're still 3,000 guns behind. Um, and we've got enough artillery, so this is fine. Uh, yeah, we're just pulling this off here. Uh, this little, nice little encirclement means that he's going to be dead uh, very, very soonish. As once he runs out of organization, he has nowhere else to go. So uh, that should be the end of him. And there he goes. Okay, perfect. I need all of you to go up there and then uh, go back there and then kill that guy. Uh, oh, we were pushing him back anyway. So he's not in a good shape. Uh, let's kill him. Uh, he's going to die very quickly. How the, how the losses looking? 10,000 on Norway. Uh, looks decent so far. It's still 72% because we still need... But uh, yeah, the victory points here actually take the airport first and then Narvik. And then Tromsø. There's still a division running around down there, but uh, these two can take them out afterwards. And uh, yeah, I think we are successfully pulling this, uh, pulling this off. Uh, you don't need to be on that front line anymore. Um, Oh, so the, there's a Norwegian division down there. How did that get there? How did these guys get into Christiansand? Oh, I missed that. Um, actually, can we get you deployed down here? <laughs> <laughs> I might need another one. Uh, all right. Um, he's he's capturing my stuff again. No, that's not how we that's not how we were doing this. All right, I'm gonna run after him. I didn't know there was another one in here. I thought we've we've cut them all off. Okay, I'm going to get one division uh, just to go down the other way. All right. Nope, just, just immediately go down there. And see if you can do something about uh, about these guys. Yeah. All right. That should do it down there. Uh, this, these guys are just mopping up, the, um, mopping up that remaining division. Once he runs out of organization, he will be dead. And he is trying desperately to break out, but there's nothing happening. So these guys can, uh, yeah, I don't really think I need all these divisions up here anymore. Uh, I might as well actually send these. These are closest uh, down, down to Bergen, down to Bergen, and help out in the south. Not that there are any more of these people running around. Uh, so you just capture some stuff. Uh, you two. 
no, you two go and recapture. Uh, th these have killed him, so we can now push that guy back. Uh, you two go and recapture my land here. Won't be having with any of that. You two be useful and do the same thing and just cut cut them off up here. And then follow down here and recapture my stuff. And you two are going to... Uh, I'm going to send one over here and the other and I'm going to send one down here and see if we can make the river crossing. Uh, you need to pin him while he goes around and circles him and then gets him from the rear because that's the best way to do it <laughs> get them from the rear uh, he's still chasing one so Norway is at 74% but they've lost 34,000 troops by now ah, there's another one you little you little buggers didn't I know it uh, you go there and or you go there and de and defend you go here and then encircle him no go here and then here and then here and then here all right and we can pin him if necessary let's see who arrives here first but we can pin him relatively easily we've got we've got the manpower down here everybody else is moving um he no you just move through oh he's trying to um he is trying to break out from there Okay, collectivist effort is, is done. Uh, internal internationalism focus. Uh, yeah, that gives me communism support. I do realize that I need army, <laughs> that I need army advisors, right? Uh, I do realize that, but I just don't have time for it right now. Okay, we have captured Narvik. Uh, I didn't even pay attention. 77%. So he goes on to Tromsø. And then there's more Norway back here, so go on to Kirkenes after that. And you just go there and do that. You encircle, and yeah, everybody else just moves on. All right, so down here, um, no, you just defend. No, you pin him. He's trying to move. So we get one over there in a pincer movement, and then the other two come go down, down here, and then down there, and then down there. Here we go. And here is, we are still uh, chasing that one division up into Bergen, who was hiding in the mountains. But we've got him pinned, so he shouldn't be able to move anywhere. Uh, we've got this guy encircled, and we are here still trying to build our encirclement. And meanwhile, we are uh, we're low supply. Yeah, it's fine. You're not fighting anyone. There's nobody there. That's okay. Uh, these two guys help out here. So you're sitting around there. You might as well help out. All right, and we are getting somewhere. Uh, come on, we just need that encirclement to go, and then we are good to destroy another division. Uh, okay, so he's holding up there, so just just stay. He's not even in Bergen, so just just defend here, um, such that he doesn't get back to Stavanger, and then we're good to go. Okay, encirclement complete. So this guy should be uh, dead relatively soonish. And then I'm gonna get everybody else. Uh, you, you just help out there. There's no need for you to move. No, move there. Attack. Um, all right, just, just stay there. Everybody else is on attack. Yes, perfect. So everybody, after they're done with that, uh, down to there and then there. Okay, once that division is dead, which is not going to be very long, how's it look up in the northern front? Okay, we've encountered another division, so let's go through here. Oh, he's on super low, so we're just going to get him encircled. Was this the one we were fighting earlier? You just capture my land back. Uh, now go there, 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 and there. All right. Oh, how much capitulated are they? 83%, uh, not much anymore. Uh, we might just need, we've, we've taken out Narvik, uh, we might just need a couple more. Yeah, they're all done. Uh, Trondheim is under our control. There's this that one division down there who can't move, which is perfectly fine. And we're just going to need to capture some more stuff down there. But yeah, everybody else, uh, just get that division there encircled and killed. I think we don't even need to encircle him. He's just, he's just running. So you, uh, depending on where he's going, just follow up. You go there, there, and then there. 
And we've also got the people from the north coming in. So he is doomed. Uh, we are we have taken Tromso and we're up again to to take Kirkenes. And uh, I think this is a foregone conclusion, which means I can actually use my spy. Um, you, where are you now? Uh, you are building an intel network. No, I actually need you to uh, to suppress resistance already down here. And the other one is suppressing resistance in Jutland. How is it looking like? 47% uh, resistance. That means they are actually organized already. This is not good. That means because we are out of garrisons. Uh, the total of Denmark is not terrible, but, uh, but Jutland is not in a good shape. So... Um, we, but once no Norway capitulates, none of this is a problem anymore. Uh, what else can we do? Um, yes, I need to go down uh, rubber because I am. What's my equipment looking like? Uh, I think we're decent on equipment. I am already going to start the. Uh, I'm going to need uh, close air support and I am going to need uh, fighters. So that's something we need to do already. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with variants quite yet, but uh, we are going to try to get 50 factories, get the fifth research slot, and then become a major power. But first we need to capitulate Norway, so let's get that done first. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, he's just running, and uh, at this point just, just encircle him, get him down, get him killed. Don't need you up there anymore. You go out to help down, down south here. I'm going to just go to strategic redeploy you over yonder and then move down there. Okay. Yep. And I don't need you up here anymore as well, so we're going to get you to redeploy down here. All right. Uh, and it just becomes a matter. Uh, Fourth International, yes. Uh, the communism is great with this one. So everyone here is just moving down. And we have got this guy pretty much encircled. So these guys are just helping out. And he, 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 is, he is very dead. Uh, there's, there's, no way there's no way really he's going to go. So he's done for, which means... Uh, how far along are they? 84%? Uh, uh, I think if we get Bergen, we might be done here. So yeah, you rush Bergen, and then we, we might be actually done here and, get, and have Norway sorted. Um, I don't know if we also know if we also need Kerkenes or if this is enough, but I think we've got them at this point. Uh, yeah, there's not much combat going on anymore. We're just wiping out that remaining Norwegian division here. Uh, yeah, he has no more f supplies and uh, he's just retreating, uh, which he really can't. Uh, just cut him off there. If he's trying to retreat there, just cut him off there. Everybody else, help, and then. We'll get there and these guys can yeah he's he, that's his his last stand so these guys can already stay uh you people start taking that land and you people start taking all this land uh munich agreement uh yeah germany is starting to get uppity germany is going to have some ideas about scandinavia so we got to be ready for them when they come the next phase is going to be a little bit of build up uh, Hungary is getting uppity as well, but uh, once we have Norway capitulated, there is something special we can do, which will also solve all these resistance problems. So this is all temporary. I'm just trying to keep it under control as much as I can, because obviously I have no manpower, because 5,600 people sitting in the garrisons, and that is way not enough. But uh, I just need to get Bergen. I think, I think if I get Bergen, has he been killed? No, he still hasn't been killed. Okay. He's, he's got one more one more uh, one more place to go but that's it that's how far he could go so he's dead uh, once we get Norway capitulated is he moving no he's not uh, yeah Bergen is the last capital I think once we get Bergen uh, we've, we've taken 3,000 casualties and the Norwegians have taken 51,000 casualties because we've literally just outmaneuvered them um, once we have uh, once we have everything sorted in Norway, we can actually form a new nation. So that's kind of what we're trying to do. Uh, oh, there's actually still one in Bergen. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to be there for very long, though. So I'm going to get you two to go there. 
and make sure that he doesn't escape and then go to Bergen uh, that is the last capital that they have so their their capitulation process is 89 percent uh, once we have taken Bergen this is the end of the war for for Norway and yeah he he doesn't stand a chance he doesn't have anywhere to go um, and even if he does then we'll just go we'll, we'll take Bergen and that's it Whew, that was scrappy but we have managed to effect to effectively trick the British into believing that we were harmless until we've proven them otherwise okay he's encircled in Bergen that is going to be the end of this guy uh, yeah he's encirclement now and he has nowhere to go so we will take Bergen and end this war and then declare a great new nation and next we're gonna look up at Finland because Finland kind of looks yummy okay we've taken we've taken Kirkenes it wasn't enough we do need Bergen uh, we've taken Bergen and Norway has capitulated perfect uh, which means we get all their guns and uh, all their fuel and all the other stuff um, Norway give me everything and turn done uh, Norway has been annexed 6,900 guns seized that means we should have got enough guns now Norway is capitulated and now uh, look at the folk Hemet. but what's what's even better and which is why I haven't been spending my political power Oh, we don't even need for political power. We can restore the Kalmar Union. And we are now the Scandinavian Socialist State. <laughs> and on that bombshell, I think we're going to leave it here. We've got the unification of Scandinavia done. Uh, next up, Finland. Uh, but we need to wait because it is 50%... Uh, um, uh, it is 50% world tension. We need to wait until the... Um, we're looking very Ikea-ish as well. We need to wait until the British and the French are busy doing other things. Because right now, who are they guaranteeing? Uh, these are Dominions. Uh, no, they're just improving relations. They're not even guaranteeing anybody. Uh, so uh, we have to wait for the Germans to make their move in the Low Countries and get the Allies into the war, such that they're too busy doing other things. And then we can take Finland. So Finland is going to be next on our list. And after that, probably I want to secure the Baltic, and uh, uh, I might. Germany might actually get ideas anyway about me. So uh, yes, but glorious nation of Scandinavian socialist state is now go. We have low manpower. We need more divisions. We need better divisions. We need tanks, planes, and everything. But that's all coming up in the next episode. That's it for today. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.